where does that fear come from and where is it manifested from? Because like you said, it's irrational, but yet we've managed to implant it into our minds. Um, it's who we are as humans. Yeah. It's who we are. It's, it's, it's in us, right? Our, our mind, again, our mind wants to avoid danger. We have over, whether it be um, early on in our life, whether it be through parents, through experiences, uh, through things we've watched on the news, through people we've met, etc. We've created all these stories in our head. If you think about the word belief, in the middle of the word belief are the letters L-I-E. It's a lie. It's a lie. You can create whatever mm. belief you want to create, right? The problem is that most of us create a limiting belief. The belief that enables or doesn't enable us to crash through this ceiling. At a subconscious level, we feel we're not good enough. We're fearful, right? Yeah. We don't feel we're worthy at a subconscious level. And so as a result, you'll never, ever, 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 ever break through, right? And so it's there's a process that you need to go to break through these limiting beliefs to enable you to, to move forward. I'll give you an example, right? So uh, Napoleon Hill wrote the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. So hopefully the viewers have uh, heard of that. Uh, really, you know, one of the, one of the world's best, uh, most popular you know, personal development books. Yeah. And in there, he talks about a concept called Three Feet from Gold, right? So this book was written in the 1920s, I think. Don't quote me, but I think it was about then. Uh, and effectively what happens was back then, you've got a miner, right? So a miner's got his hard hat and a pick and he's digging for gold. And he's dig, 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 and he's digging down this tunnel. And he gets three feet from gold. Now, if you are three feet from gold, if you know that you're three feet from gold, do you keep digging? Well, the answer is, of course you do, because you're only three feet away. If I've dug 97 feet and I'm now three feet away, well, of course you do. But here's the, the, the beauty of life. You don't know you're three feet away from mm. gold. Mm. And so that's called belief. That's called faith. Mm. Right? And that's the difference. Sadly, the majority of people will finish their life being three feet from gold. They won't ever have realized how close they actually became to getting their gold. And so what will happen is they'll turn around and they'll go, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I've dug 97 feet. I'm exhausted. I don't believe there's any gold here. And what happens is you turn around and, and, and you, let it, you let it go and you don't get it. If you knew, if you knew that there was gold just three feet away, you 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 know you do whatever you go with your hands if you had to right because you know it's there but you don't know it's there so it's called belief or faith. And I'm going to share another analogy and it's Please. probably a bit you know too much information but as as a mother who has mm. birthed birthed two children, mm. Mm. Um, and when you're in labour there's really only one way out. Mm. Well, there's depending on which way, but there's <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, um, it's it's tough. So the first time I remember my daughter, um, I remember her. Yes, that's good. Mm. Um, so it was a long labor. It was tough. Mm. And I did get to a point where it, you, you hit the wall, right? Just with anything, life, life, mm. you know. And and for me, I went in there thinking it's like a marathon. That's fine. I can see. I know it's four, you know, whether it's half marathon, full marathon, I know this is the end. Mm. But I couldn't actually see what the end was. Mm. And I was starting to say, oh, man, what do I do now? Because <laughs> mm, mm. this baby's not out, right? Mm. And so similar to, to what we go through in life. But I mm. said, but this, the thing that the midwife said to me, mm. and I was in a birth center, so there's no pain relief, nothing. Mm. You just mm. like, it's either you, be, you birth the baby or you get, you know, taken to the hospital. Yeah, to, that's it. Yeah. To yeah. slice you up. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah. And so I, the thing she said to me was, darling you're doing fine mm. um it's it's labor for for a reason mm. um but you're doing fine just yeah. just believe in yourself that's it and that's we it. did and she eventually came out obviously yeah. uh but that was it because we often do hit that wall mm. and then we sort of go then you it, it's that choice that you make as mm. to whether you're going to crash through that wall mm. and believe that there is the end point or you are going to get there it's yeah, when absolutely. we when we don't believe in it and we just mm. sort of go the other way mm. or turn around whichever mm. Mm. but if you had no choice like mm. no I not that I didn't have a choice my mm. choice was to have a natural birth I'm going to mm. have this mm. baby mm. right mm. Mm. and it was just going all right I'm just going to believe in it it will be fine 
Yeah. Well, it's a, there's a couple of things I want to say to that. So if we want to continue the baby analogy, uh, as kids learning to walk, we don't give up, right? We're so committed to getting up, we fall down, we, we get up, we fall down, we, right? But as adults, we get knocked down and we stay down. Right, so that's mm-hmm. the, that's mm-hmm. um, uh, that's that's one of the things uh, that, that I want to talk about is that you've just got to keep going. The other is you talked about that you had no choice, mm-hmm. and that's the difference between being interested and being committed. You had you had no choice, right, with that situation. And then again, you know, you apply that now to your business. You apply that to health and wellness. You apply that to certain things. Instead of being interested, I come across the majority of people are interested. They're mm. interested in creating success success for themselves. That's they're interested in. Oh, that'd be nice. You know, see all these business people on the news and read them in the paper, and that would be interesting, mm. right? But they're not truly committed. Mm. They're not truly committed to what is required to create a successful business, and that's the difference. Yeah. So I come across people who are interested in stuff, but you have to get committed. Tony Robbins talks mm-hmm. about when you want to take the island, what do you do? You burn the boats. You burn the boats. There's no turning back. You're only going in a forward direction and you're either taking over the island or you're dying. But either way, you're you're not going to go down without a fight. Whereas yeah. people, they had try something. They hit the first hurdle. It's all too hard. This business thing, it's all too hard and I'm giving up, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the whole mindset stuff, right? The mindset stuff is I have to keep going. You know, I have been knocked down so many times, right? But I keep getting up. You know, we haven't got long enough here today to talk about all the times that I've been knocked down, right? But I keep getting up and I keep getting up and I'll continue to get up, right? Because it means so much to me to accomplish the things that I'm looking to accomplish, right? And so that's the piece. It's like when you're committed to doing something, you will do whatever is required to make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what's happened to our connection? Yeah, oh, you're back. All. Yeah, here. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. Well, let me just see if we've got a few comments there. Um, really powerful stuff. That that whole it again, such a great reminder, mm. particularly when um, as business owners, as entrepreneurs, there's always going to be challenges, right? Mm. There's mm. all any anything mm. that you go through, um, it give yourself that that ability to reflect and be aware. Mm. But that belief and knowing mm. that it will all, you're you're doing the right thing, mm. I think that that message there extremely powerful mm. um, yeah. to be able to get get us moving forward. Mm. Let, let me give the, the viewers some practical tips, right, to move yeah. forward. So that's the key. If I can serve people by giving them some tips to uh, overcome their beliefs and start to mm. improve. So the, there is a six step process. So the first one is to uh, recognize uh, you know, what is your limiting belief, right? So you want to recognize that I've got a fear of this or a fear of that or a doubt of this or whatever it might be, recognize what that is. The second is if you can, try and identify where that's come from. So where is the source of that? Has it come from an event that happened when you're a kitty, when you're in your in your teenage mm. years, mm. has it been an experience that you've had? Perhaps you've had a business and you failed before. You know, where has that come from? Right? The third step is to recognize that it's BS. Again, in the middle of the word belief is the word L-I-E lie. It is a lie. It's BS. Right. So just because you have failed before in business doesn't mean that you will continually fail again in business. Your past does not need to equal your future. Right. And so I had a failed business back in 2004 and five, lost 100,000 bucks in nine months. Disastrous. Right. Well, that hasn't stopped me. Yes, it knocked me back big time and and you know $100,000 back then was enormous today is enormous right but back then it was enormous for for us for my wife and and for my family uh, but that hasn't stopped me from doing the things that I want to do so that's the first three the next one is to form empowering beliefs so that is to create the opposite of the belief that you have so if you hate doing something or if you are uh, fearful of doing something the opposite of that is love mm-hmm. if you are fearful of making a phone call to a prospect, the empowering belief is I love making phone calls to prospects, Mm. right? If you are um, blaming someone, right? If that's what you're doing, if you're blaming someone, well, the opposite of that is uh, acceptance and uh, and responsibility, right? Uh, You know, uh, judgment, acceptance, uh, so on. So it's about forming an empowering belief, which is 100% the opposite of the belief that you're telling yourself. The next one is to start as if, right? Create the identity. 
So start to create the identity that you are a successful business person. Act like a successful business person. How would a successful business person act? Talk like a successful business person. Operate your business like you're a successful business person. Right, start to carry yourself and walk with a strut like a successful business person, dress like a successful business person. Right, do all the things, start to adopt and assume the identity of what you want to be. Right, now um, I'm reflecting on if I've dressed appropriately or not. Oh, and look, I'm here, I am in a, in, a, in a polo shirt, right? You know, and, and then the last one is around create evidence of success, hmm. right? So, the evidence of, of success can come from one of two forms. The first form could, could come from start small, have some success, go, mm -hmm. huh, you're scared of making phone calls, right? You're fearful of making phone calls. Today, make one phone call. Cool. Tomorrow, make two phone calls. Cool. The next day, make three phone calls. So start small, but create evidence of success. And what happens, right, if we just play this out, this is a big one for people in sales, right? So what happens is you make a phone call and you come off the end, so you're fearful of making the phone call, you come off the end of the phone call and you go, huh, No one ate me. <laughs> huh, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> what was I worried about? I worked this thing up in my mind. What was I worried about? And so your mind then says, we're safe. So then you do another phone call. Your mind then says, we're safe. You do another phone call. Your mind then says, we're safe. We're safe, we're safe, we're safe. But so you what if the third phone call, sorry, Tony, what if the third phone call, you get someone on the other end who's a really grump, a real grumpy bum, you know, screams at you and, yep. you know, and, and then it's a setback. Mm. Then you go, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Uh, but are you in danger? No one's You're not in me. danger. So no. someone may have raised their voice at you. Someone may have said, stop wasting my time. Someone may not want to, to buy what you're selling. Mm. Mm. Right? But are you in danger? Physically, no. No, you're not in danger. But, but you're not in danger, right? Someone goes, oh, you know, stop wasting my time or get a bit cranky. You're not in danger. And here's the thing. So you have that moment. Well, you have two choices. Life, you always have two choices. You either go left or right. You can either go, oh, my gosh, that's reaffirm what I thought. I'm crap. Mm. Uh, and I'll never, ever be the thing that I want to be. Or that thing down the road, that goal down the road, that reason for getting that goal down the road is so big. It's so big. And this one person who may have been having a bad day, I've got no idea, right? They may have been having an off day. Maybe someone in their family just died. Maybe they've just gone and lost a client for $100,000 and you happen to ring at that time. And we play all these things up in our mind. But if this thing down the road is so big, you'll keep going and you'll keep going and you'll keep going and you'll build resilience, right? You'll build the muscle, mm. right? And so, so that's the thing, right? So the first is to create evidence uh, of success by starting small and just doing stuff. Go back to what I said, match fitness. You get fit by getting on the field and playing the game. It really is that simple. You can go and read all the books and you can go and watch all the YouTube clips and you can watch Cheryl and I and thank you for doing it. But the reality is you grow, you get out of your comfort zone by, by acting. The second example, right, in creating evidence of success is finding something else and applying it to what you're doing. So if I look at my story, I was in a very dark space in 2015, incredibly dark, right? And the thing that I did is that I went and did a, a weight loss, a weight transformation journey for 12 weeks. And I lost 12 kilos in 12 weeks. And I accept that I've gone and put mm. half back on. I'm, I'm not here to talk about that. But my point is in 2015, I lost 12 kilos in 12 weeks. And I got, and so I got to the end of that. And I went, oh my gosh, if I can do that, mm. if I can do that, I can do anything that I put my mind to. So then I went off and I started in property development and then got into coaching and here I am today. My point is weight loss has zero to do with business, zero. But I simply took the example that I had in my mind and I went, oh my gosh, like that is amazing what you've just accomplished. You can do whatever you put your mind to, right? And so that's, and so that's, what, that's the way you work through this. Now, here's the other thing with your mind. Again, remembering that your mind, my mind has a, ne a negative bias, wants to keep us safe. So you have to work on this stuff daily, right? You have to do this every single day, work on your mind. How do you do it? You say positive things to yourself. 
right? Affirmations. You say to yourself the things that you want to be. You tell yourself that you can achieve whatever it is that you put your mind to, that you have all the skills and capabilities to be a successful business person, right? That money flows to you in abundance. Whatever it is your affirmation, you say it and you say it out aloud and you say it with conviction. Right? And the reason you do that is because you want your subconscious mind to hear that. Now, when you say that to yourself over and over and over and over and over, you are priming yourself. You are building a machine. Mm. Right? The other is to visualize. Your mind, my mind, can't distinguish between what's real and what's imagined. And you visualize. And you visualize what you want your future to look like. Right? You want to create certainty in your, in your future. There, there is no certainty. Right? But the best way is to create your own future. Right? Well, actually, let me rephrase. There is certainty. The certainty is that if you choose to do nothing, you'll be unsuccessful. Right? That's certain. Right? But in regards to someone who has a go, you know, has a red hot crack, there's not certainty. Right? But you get out there and you look to create your own future and you visualize what you want your future to look like. And, and um, what happens is you've got this almost a state of deja vu happening. Hmm. right where you're starting to visualize yourself let me tell you a quick story uh, i don't know how much longer we've got but um, let me tell you a quick story um i um, visualize myself giving my farewell speech in my job every day for 18 months before i delivered the farewell speech every day every day without fail and a lot of the days i ended up in tears because i was so emotional and so connected to achieving this. Now, if this didn't happen to me, I think it's a whole lot of crap, but it happened to me. And I delivered my farewell speech four metres away from where I'd visualised for all those months. And it's because I was so connected to doing that. That goal meant so much to me and zero was going mm-hmm. to knock, knock me off my, uh, my path. Now, that didn't mean that there weren't bad things that happened. Of course, of course but I was just so committed to, to accomplishing what I needed to accomplish. That um, connection, because I, I'm a big believer of, um, you know, energy and vibrations that we mm. give out, mm. right? And the fact that in your mind, you're creating this, this um, event and this image mm. translates. And, you know, we talk about manifestation. Mm. 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 It mm. translates translates to the vibrations that you're giving out to the world yeah yeah. and it then it does these things where it goes Mm. to find what needs to be done Mm. to get that happening 100 percent 100 100 percent that's the law of attraction i guess in a in a in a in a hand in a hand movement form (laughs) well it's 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 the physics it's it's quantum physics that's what it is right so if you um if you google up uh, so joe joe dispenser dr joe dispenser Mm -hmm. and if you there's a japanese guy whose name escapes me and and the movie escapes me but effectively it's around water crystals yeah right so if you google up dr joe dispenser and then water crystals and um and the fact I can't remember that name is going to eat at me. Anyway, um, the point is this, that they had these water, uh, water, so two, two jars of water, and uh, this, this scientist had one jar of water, uh, you know, screamed at the water, um, thought bad things about the water, etc. And when they froze it and they put the water um, uh, under um, uh, the microscope, all the edges were jagged, it was rough, they looked dreadful. Mm, mm. The other water thought positively about the water, talked nicely to the water, and all the um, particles were symmetrical. Now, you might be sitting, oh, my gosh, this, this bloke, has, has he just gone and, you know, what's he on? And he's gone all woo-woo on us and all this sort of yeah. stuff. But there's yeah. science behind this. There's science behind what you're talking about. You put this energy out. And the law of attraction, in my mind, is real. It's real, right? And, uh, you know, so research this stuff up, quantum physics. It's, uh, it's powerful, powerful stuff. But ultimately, thoughts become things if you learn nothing else Mm -hmm. out of this last hour chat with cheryl and i thoughts become things and not your conscious thoughts your subconscious thoughts that's where the magic is it's the 90 percent that you aren't aware of right and so you've got to change your subconscious thoughts otherwise it's never ever ever going to happen for you and i'm sorry to break that to you here but it's never going to happen okay one biggest takeaway from today Ooh, oh sorry was yeah, that, that was a, me was that, that was me, me, a... me that was me kicking my chair sorry it was an accident <laughs> we're done yeah. um and, and we are almost done actually mm-hmm. uh uh 
the one takeaway from today if there's this did you just say that it was the one the thought become things Th thoughts thoughts become thoughts things, become things. thoughts Excellent. become things if you if you believe that you can create a successful business and you get out there and you act accordingly you don't just think about it and go oh successful mm -hmm. business you've got to then put in practice the things that you think of you have to act right when you do that then you will create phenomenal success for yourself in whatever industry you're in right so that is my takeaway it's the three words of thoughts become things amazing thank you um sean's just put a link to the water video uh, yeah terrific thank you sean and and he and he says that the old word abracadabra is supposed to mean as i speak i create mm, there you go i didn't know that that's fascinating so, so the spirit fingers all had a reason reason for being they were very appropriate right it was an yeah. appropriate prop for there what we we're go. talking about yeah hey? yeah that that was the whole idea um tony thank you so much no, for spending okay. time you. with us uh, i always love lo always love having you around um and sharing your your words of wisdom thank you again a great reminder of anyone that's particularly feeling stuck mm. and they're really wondering why did i end up doing this it's mm. so hard mm. you know let's go back to basics why are we in this 100%. And do we believe that we're going to get there? So, 100%. Thank you, Tony. Hi, thank you. Have a fantastic, fantastic day and the rest of the week. Thank you. And I will see you all soon. Thank you, everyone that tuned thank you. in. We had a great cool. audience there. Do, do, do. And, um, and be safe. Be thank well. You. Bye. Keep Ciao. Bye. Bye.